Okay, so how's everyone doing today out there in this planet that we call Earth? Um, I got something f a little bit different for you guys. Um, I am running something called Skywave Linux. And this is the only uh, solution I have found to be able to get SDR Play, the RSP1, to work on Linux. Um, now, I know there's about two different solutions um, that are out there but I think the problem was is that once your kernels get updated and various other uh, repositories or just uh, various other packages get updated um, it can basically bork your installation and when those were created uh, those didn't quite um, make it so that uh, any of the newer hardware that that has come out works with it um, and what I mean by that is it has something to do with uh, whether you're using AMD or NVIDIA driver uh, proprietary drivers for your Linux operating system and it uh, it somehow has something to do with OpenGL and it will not work for some reason with a newer distribution um, now if you could go back and get an older distribution and find all the exact uh, packages that you needed uh, you could possibly get it to work um, but this somehow this guy who created that this uh, distribution I'll show you guys the web page um, let me close this out um, Skywave Linux is what this is called um, and kudos to the guy who made this because uh, this is absolutely just an uh, awesome operating uh, operating system. Uh, let's go to actual. See if I can find his name here and give credit. Um, well, I don't know who who it was, but whoever it was out there that created this, this is an awesome job. Um, so, long story short. Uh, basically what it is is uh, just an operating system that can use very various different uh, software defined radios um, and in my case specifically the SDR play uh, RSP1 and you can use something called uh, cubic SDR or uh, GQRX uh, let me hide my screen here um, now here's a a little bit of a uh, word of note um, m the audio devices on this distribution didn't work for my uh, Dell desktop and I'm using a uh, USB uh, sound card and I basically had to uninstall uh, pulse audio uh, by running this command and then reinstall it like this and then reboot your computer and then all of your audio devices should work um, and I was playing with this before and I just completely reinstalled the distribution um, just to show you guys but I originally installed mate and I removed unity uh, completely uh, and it just makes it run a little bit smoother overall uh, so that's something that you could do and you could either look online or you can run those commands there on how to do that um, but just to show you guys that the SDR play actually does work I'm going to start this up here and drag this over so you can see the SDR play. Click start. I'm going to drag this over here. And show you guys. Okay. So let's put this at the center frequency of like four. And we'll just zoom in here. Some a lot of activity going on. Let's take a look.
haven't gotten a job. But I never tried. It was quite a bit further to work. Yeah, from the house, it was probably 60 miles. At least, probably. Boy, the way traffic is now. You know, it's a working hour. When you go to work in the morning, most people are coming home. Man, it's crazy here. You work it all there, all the, you know, they got the maps around the city to show overnight on the news. Got whether they're full, most of the time they're red and not green. <laughs> I think red is not good. Okay, as you guys can see, um, I do have it uh, running, and you can actually change uh, like your color schemes here. Uh, let me start this back up. So, so what kind of plans you got for tomorrow? Like that, for instance, Where? is a radar. Where? Let me turn the volume down here. Early day, late. Like um, we've got black and white, sharp, I think this is, I don't think this is really in relation to SDR sharp, because SDR sharp is a little more colorful than that, um, rad, that might be in relation to win rad, but, doubt it and then SDR touch or touch uh, this one looks pretty cool I think um, and these, these are just you know your color schemes it really doesn't matter a whole lot um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to show you guys it actually is uh, it is running and the other cool part is not only does it run on uh, Cubic SDR, but you can also use GQRX. And I believe I got it working by this SDR play input rate. You can leave this at 2048, but it does become slightly slow. make this a little bit bigger here I'll show you guys um, if you go to input controls this is where you can set some of the uh, SDR parameters and then you go to receiver options and this is you know your mode your filter width and then FFT settings and make sure you set this to about 30 frames a second or else it's gonna look like it's running a little slow um, and I just leave this at 8 or 16 um, so let's go, let's go to four. And this one is a little bit strange, stranger to, uh, control in my opinion. Um, I really, really, really like, uh, HD SDR, um, which is the windows based program. For some reason, uh, to me, it just feels, uh, the most complete. Uh, and it feels uh, just a lot faster than these two programs do. But if you're kind of like me and you're really wanting to get off of Windows, uh, this is a really good uh, solution uh, to that. And and it looks like the guy is or whoever it is that's developing uh, Skywave Linux. Uh, he's doing. It looks like he's doing regular updates to it. So. Uh, you can expect more to come in the future, so.
So as you can see, uh, both programs uh, work. Um, I think that GQRX seems to be a little bit faster, uh, but I like the user interface of Cubic SDR. Um, it just seems a little more uh, user intuitive to me. Let me get this started back up here. It takes a while to find the SDR play. All right. Let's zoom in here. Now this is something I haven't been able to uh, figure out is sometimes when I click on a frequency it doesn't like pick it up even though I can see it's there uh, and I actually figured this out the other day but I can't I can't remember what I did. I don't know why it's not picking that up. Like you can clearly tell that, you know, there's something there, but it won't. Just for whatever reason, it's not receiving it, which has never been the case, like with HD SDR. And I mean, I know there's nothing wrong with it. Mm. So, like, it's picking that up. But for instance, like let's say we go to
So you guys can see, um, it, it, it obviously works and uh, just for some reason, it, I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe someone can point it out as to why it's not picking up, uh, certain frequencies, even though I can physically see something there. Uh, I had that issue the other day, um, and I played around with it quite a bit and it doesn't, it doesn't do that in GQRX or, uh, HD SDR on windows. So, um, well, there you guys um, pretty much have it. Uh, I'm not an expert, you know, when it comes to this stuff, but I wanted to try and at least get it running on Linux. That way I can start slowly, completely moving away from Windows, which is, it is, it's a lot harder than, <laughs> than you realize when you've been using Windows for, you know, 20 something years of your life. Uh, Especially when you like to play games as well as do oddball stuff like this. So, well, I hope you guys um, liked it. If you have any questions, I'll uh, try to help you out as much as I can. Uh, I'm not, you know, a, a Linux expert by any means, but I'm trying to learn as much as I can. So, I'll talk to you guys later.